the Gabba Gabba, Gabba, Gabba Gabba series. On it's uh, all the way down the lake. It's a pretty killer One series made for uh, preschool that. kids, it's and I have a little daughter on the shore. Um, whether it be and she's only nine months tree, old, and I know you're not rock, supposed to be like a house or whatever, you know, put her in front of a bunch of TV. But towards it. every now and then, you just need like thirty minutes, you know, twenty-two minutes, whatever it is, without commercials. Downtime, you know, to just. Take a little breath. That's deaf. And uh, my girl, she's into she's into DJ Lance Rock, you know, and Muno and Fufa and Tootie and Plex, you know, and Broby, you know. So uh, Sean Murray and his wife got that for me for my birthday, the DJ Lance Rock hat and glasses, and it's like one that. of the best birthday presents I've ever gotten. I mean, I'm ranking it right behind my car when I turned 16. Nice. Yep. Yeah. So, um, if everyone didn't know, this is Travis Moy, pro boat driver, the man, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Best boat driver in the world. I'm John Jeffries. I'm Aaron Perkins. And welcome to the Waking Hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's on here? Christian Bikini Sue. Hi, guys. Hey, Sue. Hey, Hi, Sue. What up, Sue? What up, Sarah? Sarah? Well... Without using his phone or the computer, he's from whatever virus is the definition of the word veer. Veer. Veer is a word I played with words for, with friends uh, today with Russ McDonough. And uh, I think I probably got 18, 20 points for it. I'm not sure what it means, um, but a V is five points. And uh, I had some extra letters to throw around and I put it in there. And it was a word. Sending, that's the best. When you see it and you're like, I don't even think this is a word, and you hit it and it goes sending. You're like, that's when you like this. Totally. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, Christian. Because you cheat. You're getting called out right now. No. Five minutes in. No. Russ McDonough cheats because the first game I played against him, I beat him by like 150 points. He never made a word that was more than three letters and worth more (laughs) than about six points. And then somehow he restarts the game with me. And, like, first word was probably 30 points or something. Next word's, like, 44, whatever. In, like, three plays, he's over 100 points. I don't think he got 100 points the whole game the time before. And, like, he's a Mac person, and, you know, he's got some expendable income. And I'm not saying that, I mean, he might know somebody who knows somebody who does some, like, programming or something. And I think he might possibly be cheating. (laughs) Travis is wifey two. What's the highest point word anyone has played on you? How come you're wifey number two? Is there a wifey one on here? Um, if so, that's weird. Um, <laughs> the highest point word anyone has ever played on me would be my wife. And it was a, uh, a 99 pointer. And it hurt. It, uh, it got me right there. Right. Y'all, y'all can't see. Right there. <laughs> um. Okay, Sarah. Travis, uh, I've got to know you've driven all the best riders in the world of all the riders you've driven or seen. Who do you consider the best rider in the world? Who do I consider the best rider in the world? I've been asked this a lot. I, I give it. the same answer Keith Lyman. every single time. Keith Lyman is the best rider in the world. Um, sure, he might not do every trick that you know <clears throat> Philip Sovin does or. Danny Harf does, or whoever does. I don't care. Um, nobody can do it like he does, period. And it's consistently going that big, consistently laying it down every time, making it look that good. You can't do it. <coughs> there's, one, there's one up here. Besides you, who's the biggest redneck in wakeboarding? <laughs> um, I mean... I don't know if, if Jeff Langley's a redneck. I mean, he lives out of his truck most of the time. I mean, I think that's probably pretty red. Or wherever else. And he doesn't wear his shirt a lot. Bathes in the lake. He bathes in the lake. Um, Fish every day. Wes Bearden. That's the band. Yeah. Wes Bearden, one of those boys <laughs> that runs around with Wes Bearden. I'm, I'm blanking on a few of the names. I mean, I love, I love those boys, but, I mean, they live in East Georgia, and they're red. You know, <laughs> I, I spend a lot of summers in East Georgia. Um, somebody's asking me, do you think that Alabama deserved the national championship after getting spanked by Utah the year before? Uh, what do you think, SLC punk? They went undefeated. 
They won the Heisman. They won the SEC. Spanked Florida badly. I was there. Um, and yes, uh, it was unfortunate. Colt McCoy got hurt. You know, basically second play of the game. They deserve to be the national champions. Um, and a lot of people are staying around for next year, so it should be another great year for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Thank you. <clears throat> I just want to be the first one to bring this up because I'm just amazed that USA spanked Canada in some hockey. Oh, that was good. In the Olympics, and I was so pumped because me and Sean were actually watching, like, they were just going around in Canada just showing, like, people's faces. Like, what do you think's going to happen this game? Like, hands down, Canada's going to whoop USA. We're not even worried about it. We don't even care. But they didn't say, like, rednecks or anything. But, but uh, well, I mean, they got rednecks in Canada. USA just spanked them. But, you know, they got sweet, sweet revenge last night in ice dancing. Canada won ice dancing. And, you know, when it comes down to it in the Winter Olympics, that's probably the most BA sport More curling. Going. More curling. Curling's um, pretty tight. You know, or curling. The curling's pretty tight, too. But for my money, if I'm going to sit down to some Olympics, I mean, I want to watch people in tribal headdress, and I want to watch them, you know, kind of skip around on ice. That's just me. What about luge? That's pretty intense, um, as we can see this year. The luge is pretty intense. That's uh, that's a funny subject. My wife seems to think she can be a competitive loser. Um and I was trying to tell her, I feel like there's some skill involved. I go, they're going 80 miles an hour. And she said, you put me on that thing, I'll go 80 miles an hour too. She has a point. You know, I guess she just pointed downhill. Didn't she refer to it as like wet and wild? Like wet and wild. Um, Utah would have spanked them. It's not happening. Utah's never getting to that bowl game. Did Utah <laughs> even win their bowl game? I don't even think Utah won their bowl game. I don't even remember because Utah's not even on my radar. <laughs> All right? Man. Up here, what was it? There was one that said, Travis, where are you originally from? Okay. Darn yeah, it. I'm catching up. I'm from Georgia. I'm from Calhoun, Georgia. Uh, it's about an hour north of Atlanta. Um, it's, uh, you know, I head it up there a couple times a year. My mom still lives there. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, okay. Where are we going? Right here. Well, oh, you move it. Wait a minute, go back up? It's because when someone types something, it yeah, I got you. drops that. Avid wakeboarder right there. Am I also an avid wakeboarder? No, I'm not. Um, I'm old. However, I've seen you get slammed on the Rome getting whipped into a canal one time. Oh, my God. That was pretty much about the end of my wakeboard career. The thing, I only have ever seen you do it after that day. Yeah. Sean Murray likes to put people on high-speed whips on the Rome, and I thought it sounded fun. When you have no control. <laughs> and, uh... So I was going about 75 and got caught on a backside edge, and I uh, felt like somebody hit me between the shoulder blades with a uh, sledgehammer. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's slowing me down a little bit. Uh, what are the best boats to drive in descending order? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mastercraft X-Star, <clears throat> number one. Um, I mean, really, I'm just going to have to go through the entire Mastercraft line. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then somewhere down the line below that, there would be uh, some crack crafts and, and some Malibus um, and whatnot. Right? Um, Mastercraft X Star, hand down. Yeah. How did I become the number one boat driver in the world? Yeah, I lost a bet. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Uh, a long time ago. They asked me if I wanted to drive a tour and. Uh, I said yes, and that's just kind of how it kind of how it stuck, and people seem to like it, and I seem to like it, and uh, I'm doing it. If I were to do an Olympic sport, which would you pick? Um, I don't know. I mean, I like that, like uh, the downhill skiing when they're just. This in, is this this is open too. You can do summer. All right, true. If you're feeling the javelin throw, you can throw it in there. But, I mean, like that downhill skiing where they just seem like they're about to die the entire time. Did you time. see the lady that fell 50 feet off the gate, though? Okay. I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. Don't hate. My <coughs> wife is the first one. My wife said this. My wife goes, why do they even make girls do sports in the Olympics? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, okay, so uh, there's a few of those things that I feel like they should be doing. <laughs> but, like, some of the downhill stuff and, like, that snowboard across, 
I oh, mean, yeah, they're whipping. There were many heats that only one girl crossed the finish line. Yeah. That something's I mean, wrong about that. I'm not saying they should be allowed to do it. I'm just saying it maybe shouldn't be on television. I was just thinking, <laughs> if you train for, I mean, Olympics is not like, yeah, I'm going to go to the Olympics this year. That's like a four-year yeah. commitment. You're an Olympic Can athlete. Can you imagine when you lunged off that thing and you just overshot You didn't make it 50 feet? Yeah, you got to just... I'd be upset. That's got to be a flight home, right? I'd be upset. Lisa Jeffrey says she can't see the stream. What? Yeah, Tim, tighten up. Refresh. Is there a pretty big riding scene in Georgia? Um, you're asking the wrong kid. I don't live there. Uh, I, you know, I think there is. There's there's uh, <coughs> Brent and Brandon Lee kicking it up there. There's uh, Jefferson Langley uh kicking it up there you know he's down here now and there's all the guys over at gravity research and eastman doing an amazing job and i know a lot of people are pumped on what they're doing uh the tour is going back to ackworth this year which is which is good i'm happy about that get a tour stop and get to see all my family at the same time so that's awesome um so uh <laughs> billy bob this is a uh, billy bob i'm gonna venture a guess is mike ferraro uh, I'm just guessing. Love you, Mike. Glad you're having another baby. Hope you get another girl. Um, yeah, you know, there's something about that. When you taught me like you did, made me swim across the entire lake <coughs> of a grab. Well, here's the situation. When I was growing up, you know, I used to water ski, and I used to come down every chance I had and kick it with Mike Ferraro and, and uh, Chet Rayleigh and Tangy Bennett, a bunch of those guys, and... Um, just the legends you know they, all those guys you know they all taught me to do what i'm doing as far as on the water and in the boat and taught me how to make a living doing what i'm doing and i owe a lot to those guys and i you know i'll say that time and time again that's i, I owe what i do to to ferraro and chet and tang and all those guys they definitely took me under their wing and they didn't have to and i appreciate it and i i try to uh I try to return the favor, yeah. you know. I'm trying to return the favor to, to guys like John Jeffries here, and you know, Murdog always. He's got a little Aaron under his wing over here. I fly. Um, so I tried to return the favor, but along with that comes some consequences sometimes. And you know, one time John was riding, and I was asking him to grab a toe side back roll. I wasn't asking him to do a 900 or do something crazy. I knew he couldn't do. I was asking him to grab a toe side back roll. And so for about 20 minutes, he did toe-side back rolls. Didn't, Tabs, grab didn't, didn't grab a single one. I tapped it. Didn't grab a single <laughs> one. And I said, John, I don't care if you fall, but you better fall holding that wakeboard in your hand. And he never fell once. And I said, if you don't do it, you're going to swim back to your jet ski. It's when he used to come meet us on his jet ski, and his jet ski was... And we are in the middle of the lake, jet skis on the Pretty shore. far, pretty good swim. <laughs> and... Uh, I said, look, you got like three more tries, whatever. He didn't do it on those three tries, so my man swam. And that's, I learned mm. from Mike Ferraro. You know, I used to beg, we used to have to beg him. Like, look, can we take one more set? He's like, all right, I'll go up and back. You fall, you're swimming in. But now he's soft. He pulls all those girls, and they talk back to him. And I, you know, <laughs> it blows my mind. If I would have said things to him, like Dallas Friday and Lauren Harf and Emily Copeland Durham and all those girls would have said to him, I, I mean, I can't even imagine the things that would happen to me. And <laughs> humiliation in public. I mean, I've had my pants pulled down in a subway, you know. They used to do all kind of things like that. And you'd just be glad I'm not pulling your pants down in public. All well, right? I would be in public. <laughs> so, well, you're at a tour stop, you True. know. You're, True. I, I mean, I could get you anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, just be glad I'm not doing things like that. Uh, what's the difference between the two schools you have driven for? Ride the spot at the boarding school. Well, okay, let's let's clear up one thing. Driven. Uh, you know, I drive, I coach, I answer the emails, uh, I do just about everything. Um, if you see my name on a school, that means I'm, I'm putting a pretty big input in it. Um, when I was at Ride the Spot, things weren't drastically different than what I'm doing now. I, honestly, I don't know what the difference is right now. Um, you know, I hadn't been over there. Um, but, you know, now I'm working with Sean, and, and I love it, and uh, got a great location, and, and a lot of great guys that work with us. Kyle Rattray, who's amazing, and 
and Palma and and uh, Robbie and you know just having a good time with it. So um, I don't know the the main differences right now to be honestly to be honest with you. Uh, uh, I hate Russ McDonough. <laughs> um, we're gonna, just going to skip past that. Um, Mike Ferraro is a rock star. That is true. Uh, aside from water sports, what do you like doing? One other thing, being from Georgia, you also a hunter. It seems like everyone I know there owns a gun or hunts. That's funny. I've never hunted really in my life. I went on my first duck hunt this winter with Russ McDonough, who I hate right now, uh, up in Arkansas, and uh, had a the time of my life it was great amazing so i got my duck stamps you know i'm good for 2009 2010 nice. season i'll be back up there in the in the winter next year um so yeah uh -huh. but what do i like doing um i like riding my bicycle i like riding my motorcycle i like surfing um i like organizing my house and uh cleaning stuff I'm crazy you know and retentive like that um and most importantly, I like my wife. I love her. I love my little girl. Here's some, some video of my husband talking about right now. Um, so, so lately, yeah, I like being a dad. I'm So my family was chemo, chemo, chemo. Oh, this is our boy Hunter. That was awesome. I heard. He's oh, a really he fun was guy. Awesome. Sing pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. Pants, pants on, on the ground. ground. Looking like a fool with your pants, pants on, on the ground. ground. Hat to the side. Hat to the side. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, What's up, Jalen? You look oh, great nice. right now. Who's Brown Bear? That's my friend Jalen from school. Jalen, that's a girl. No, it's a guy. That's a little weird. <laughs> so Jalen's the man, though. It's all good. I'm uh, this Friday, first time ever. Never seen it. Just seen commercials. Thought it looked awesome. Daniela Galvez, the girlfriend, ended up buying tickets to go to Circus. They lay. Uh, Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to it this Friday. Right on. That's awesome. I've never been in my life. I don't it's know what awesome. to expect. I, I've just heard good things. It's off the chain. It's, it's off the chain. It's, uh, it's big. It's big. Uh, got a question here from Lisa Jeffries. Um, shout out to Lisa. Love you, Lisa. That hummus was right on. Um, <laughs> when I see a trick go wrong right before an obstacle on the tour, it seemed to be right on the quit switch. Do you ever get nervous when younger riders start the tour and don't know their way around the apparatus? Younger riders? How about older riders? How about girls been riding the tour for 10 years? How about the occasional guy? Um, you know, yeah. They all, I don't know what happens to them that they can't see, like, basically something the size of a motorhome parked on the other side of the lake and not know to cut into it, but uh, it happens. Yeah, so I gotta, I got to be on my game, look alive, you know? Uh, Daniela Galvez, yay! She's pumped She's on. She's pumped on, dude. It. And then we got Jerry and Christie's baby shower. Are you gonna be at that? Um, um at the Spine's house. As far as I know, I haven't been invited yet. So oh, <laughs> this is awkward. You know, <laughs> that's all right. I mean, you just, know. why don't you just call them and just I don't know. Tell them you're coming. Like, I, no, that's I'm not. appalled you didn't invite me. That's I'm not, pissed. That's not the way I roll. <laughs> you know, I'm. Do you not know who I am? No? How about now? Okay? You know. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way I roll. Um, so we, we got a lot. How many people are even watching? That's how many people you, are watching. You just got to put your mouse on that. What? Put on what? On air. On air. We need 61. some more. 61? We need some more. Yeah, 61 people? The sad people? part about it is that beat me and Gunner show last Tuesday. Hey, we've only been on for 21 minutes. Yeah. They were on for like an hour and a half. Wow. wow. Man, that's, that's cool. It's depressing. That's cool. Aaron. What does like Murray get at his place? Seven thousand. Oh yeah, he gets, no. like, he gets like a million. No, this guy he got eight sixty one was the highest ever. So eight hundred more people than we have right now. Yep. 
Well, no, that would be... Start texting hey, people no, or let call. Me, send out a know. mass text or something. No, let me let you know this, though. Oh, I got it. That's not, that's not for one That's for one show, but that's not for, like, right when they got on. That's not an hour and a half of when that happened. You know what I mean? Like, it's they take this show and they'll play it for a week on the homepage. Mm. And all together, for like people can go back on it, and if they didn't see it tonight, they can go back on it. So that's all together views for like a solid week or two weeks. Hey, I can I can bring this up. This is something interesting. I just got an email from this dude that uh, last summer you were you were part of the the DVD. No, no, you weren't a part of the DVD shoot for the, the I'm driving not cool, I'm not skills. Cool enough. I don't think you were around. Was that the Coast Guard thing? Yeah. Yeah, I was there. You're, you were there? I was in the boat when it was 100 degrees and we were oh, sitting yeah, there sweating yeah. and yeah. you were freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so I, uh, the Coast Guard asked me to do a uh, small boat driving skills DVD that will be used for all boating classes across the country um, this year. So they just finished it. Uh, it should be pretty awesome. I'm, I'm pretty pumped on it. Um, it was like the hottest day in the world. It was extremely hot. Um, and we were in an X Star, and then we had to use a little ski boat for part of it. And uh, but the bimini space was taken up by a camera guy and wires. Yeah. And I thought they brought out this little ski boat, little Pro Star 197, and it looked so awesome. They're was, back in this thing in the, the water, uh, and I'm like, this is the baddest boat ever made, except for the fact it was solid black. With dark mocha interior, interior and no bimini top, and I literally thought I was gonna die just sitting in it. Like, I don't know where he used that boat. But and the water was hot too because you don't it's brown you, you don't use that boat in Florida. That's all I know. Um, it was beautiful. Love you too, Kels. That one's a girl. Uh, brown bear says many people make a mistake for me. When it's they hear funny because him being a girl would be like he's just what's his name? Big, Janelle. Jalen. Jalen. He's a big, tall, black kid on the varsity basketball team. Jalen. Sorry, buddy. Um, Kelsey loves John. Is that something serious? Hmm? Is that your girlfriend? Not Where? Text. Kelsey? Yeah. No. This um, is, what's your girlfriend going to say about this? I don't have a girlfriend. I thought you... What? Okay. No. <laughs> Gosh, you are so okay. confusing. Nancy says, hey, Travis, you said that Keith Lyman is the best rider. Why is it that he still does not get so much love from the sponsors? Um, I don't know. Maybe they're idiots. I, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Um, you know, Keith has is, is gotten a lot of love recently from Liquid Force, and, and Oakley's always had his back um, real strong. And, you know, honestly, I, I don't know that. I mean, Keith's not a... Uh, a contest rider per se and you know maybe that's something people are looking more into um just a straight far as straight skills though i feel like you know keith keith that's true oakley does keith's my boy him. keith had a giant oakley thing in the orlando yeah. airport forever kicking out a kick and uh you know i don't care who you are if you got a giant you know eight by 20 thing when those european and japanese people come and they see you wakeboarding it's a big deal. that's pretty cool uh, you're going to hold up your Chubby Bunny title. Now, uh, Chubby Bunny is very irresponsible. <clears throat> and I learned that after we did a Chubby Bunny ad uh, years ago. And I had parents emailing me and uh, discussing the dangers of it as just expressed on the Oprah Winfrey show. And, uh, you know, yeah, I don't play Chubby Bunny anymore. What's the next event I'm going to drive? That would be the Gravel Tour, 2010. Um, been driving the Gravel Tour for a long time, and I'll probably be driving it a lot longer. It's uh, they're great events and and super fun to drive, and you know I, I love performance ski and surf, and and uh, Bill Porter's my boy. What is your favorite Amish friendship bread? Um, oh my gosh. Have I ever baked some? Yeah. I used to bake four loaves every ten days, no big deal. And then I, I, I traveled to Georgia with the mix in my bag, back and forth twice. Um, yeah. Uh, what's my favorite one? I don't know. I had a couple of different favorite ones. I made this one. I would do uh, like peanut butter chips and chocolate chips, and it was so good. And I did one that was like cookies and cream with chocolate chips. It was so good. 
I kind of miss it, but I, I did. You know, I was eating big chunks of fat every day. The toughest event I've ever pulled. Oh, I don't know. What was the What that, was the one where the kid did the front flip almost onto the transfer? That was Ackworth. Um, but I, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> where is he finding that? That's like the... Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, i tell you that one in Phoenix, Arizona was pretty tough. I was not into that at all. It was like 120 degrees. Salt water. Salt water with black top surrounding us. I know, that was the brainchild behind that one. <laughs> um, uh, I love how up front you are. That being said, what is your favorite Mastercraft boat? X-Star. Uh, that's all there is to it. I love the X-Star. Uh, you know, it depends what you want to do. I mean, they're all awesome. X-Star is awesome. That 197 is super awesome if you want to do some skiing. That new X25 is really cool. I just spent a day in that, and it was really, really cool. That 300 is insane. You know, I mean, it just depends on your application. For me, I'm an X-Star guy. I'm always going to be an X-Star guy until they stop letting me have X-Stars. Um, I love them. Travis, uh, what is the craziest thing you've ever seen Sean Murray do? Or make someone do? Uh... Craziest is is that stupidest? Both. Do both. Craziest thing. Um, I don't know. That's I mean that's a that's a wide yeah wide, wide variety. Open, you know, I mean just for instance the other day Sean shows up and he's got this giant skid mark burn <laughs> up the side of his forehead. And I'm like, whoa, what happened to your forehead? And he's like, um, well, I was doing a stunt. And so I'm like, oh, really? Do tell. And he said, uh, you know, Jerry and I, you ever see the cartwheel where the one guy's head's down here and the other guy's, you know, the crotch is here and the legs and the feet and you go and do double man cartwheel? You keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they tried to do that. I guess he tried to do it with you first. I dropped him. I was holding him up, like, he was, yeah, I was holding him up first and we go sideways, but it's just like if you're going to do a cartwheel like this, this is how the feet are, right? They're just yeah. like that. If you're going to go over, it's like going to do a cartwheel like this, perfectly straight. You're going to land on your side. Yeah. You have to be able to turn like this. So I was holding him like, this isn't going to work. I dropped him. <laughs> and you have Sean, who's so, much smaller than you. So here, here's, here's the deal. That being said, if first attempt I got dropped, I'm probably going to like, you know what? This I'm, isn't worth it. I'm 30, whatever years old. I got a kid, another one about to pop out any day. I'm probably good with a two-man cartwheel. That's just me, the voice of reason speaking. Mm-hmm. But Sean's like, no, no, Jerry's Jerry was same the one height. to get on it, same height, you know. And so they tried to do it, and uh, Jerry's legs gave way right away, and Sean's head landed on his shoe, and then Jerry's body weight landed on the other side of his head, and you know, burned wow. that, that flesh off his uh, off the side of his head. So I, I mean, there's so many things. Like I, three to four inches off. Yeah, I, I don't even oh, know. Skin. Just... I don't even know where to go after that. Uh. Isn't he having a kid soon? Christian, who is Christian Nolan? He's the little, um, little blonde dude with the blue nautique, old old nautique. Yeah. Uh, great, great wake, uh, wake skater. Yeah, we're gonna leave that for another time, Christian. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Hello, kid on the right, Aaron. That's you. Whoa! whoa. Need some love. In your estimation, how many people have you driven? Um, like I've always said, Dan O the Man O says I pulled over a million. I'm going with that. You know, I mean, there's pretty much nothing that comes out of Dan O's mouth that's not fact. I mean, if you listen to the things he says at tourist times, I mean, it's just it's straight facts. I mean, he's a wealth of knowledge, uh, and and you know, probably a million, a couple million. I don't know. Uh, Travis being Jerry Nunn's friend, do you ever think he will think he will come to do a show? He is something of a mystery. Uh, he is something of a mystery. Um, you know, I don't see why I couldn't just walk next door and do a Murdoch show. I, he totally could. You could walk over. You know, do the Mur show. Um, and Be a big part of it. He could. And, you know, Jerry is another one. I mean, that dude is amazing. He's going to be 40 years old this year. That kid can throw down. Um, the only thing is, is the problem would be to get him on the Murr show, you'd have to keep him up past bedtime because Jerry Nunn, if you guys didn't know this, goes to bed roughly 
Probably right when it hits. Dark. He might have to get up on one of these seven o'clock shows. Yeah, like, you know, like a daytime, or even like a daytime. That would be pushing it, man. Because yeah. nine o'clock, him sitting around, he'd have to have coffee and um, Red Bulls. Eighty-five. We're up to eighty-five. Oh, Let's break the hundo. Alabama to Warriors skiing title. Talk about that. Um, you getting into it in that lean right there. I am. Look at look, just a little dude. I was like eighteen right there. Um. Well, I grew up water skiing, and, and uh, I was fortunate enough to go to the University of Alabama, uh, and they had a great ski team there, and and uh, had a great bunch of guys when I was there, and uh, we basically almost had, like, kind of, our, our men, anyway, it was like a pro men's ski team, basically, had a bunch of great guys, and, and we, uh, we killed it that year. We <laughs> raised it. You see us in the boat, giving the big woot woot. So it's um, kind of like a football team back then. That's what's the up. Team. That's what's up. We had a bunch of great guys, and it was super fun. Um, Lisa Jeffries, what about being a father has changed your outlook on life? Pretty much everything. Um, you know, I just uh, just want to make sure that that Ella and Kristen are taken care of no matter what, and um, you know, makes you want to get home that much sooner and. And like even today, I was coming down to the camp, and I was taking a nap, and I'm like, God, I hope she wakes up so I can see her before I leave. You know, it just it changes the way I think about everything. Um, and I love that little girl, and my wife. I'm telling you, I mean, not that I didn't love my wife before, but I'm telling you, it just put a whole new perspective on my life and my wife and everything. It's just been the best thing I could ever imagine. Um, who are the most hilarious people in wakeboarding how about the overly serious <laughs> um, you know I feel like most people are pretty funny I mean I'm funny uh, Sean Murray's funny um, everybody's funny in their own way a little bit you know everybody's got their own kind of little thing um, you know and every time I'm just hanging out with people they seem to be funny uh, overly serious. Uh, Keith gets pretty serious. I mean, Keith gets pretty serious, but at the but same time, funny. Keith is really funny, and I feel like I feel like Keith's starting to, you know, take himself lighter and and stuff like that, which uh, which I, I think is a good thing. JD gets pretty serious too. I, JD gets pretty serious, but he's also really yeah. funny. You know, best of both worlds. I think a lot of people are, are both. You know, when they're on the water, they're they're all business, and when they're off the water, you know, they're just wanting to hang out and have some fun. Do you still pull water skiers? Uh, I don't. Masters, no, no, you don't. don't. What about I you, don't. What about you and Murdoch when you rip it up? Oh well, you, out here, you know, we want to rip it up on Trout Lake. I pulled this dude for the first time on a pair of skis. It was so sick. Uh, some um, what were but, they? Uh, what, what skis were they? I don't even remember. Cause there were so many awesome. Yeah, they were something. They're like you at Bama when Bear Bryant was there. How old do I look? God, I mean, I know I got some crow's feet and my eyes are a little baggy, but <laughs> thirty-eight years old, man. What's up? Uh, who is the best water skier of all time? Steve Merritt. That's only only. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, if if you ask me, the best water skier of all time, I would say. I would, I'll, I'll give two answers. I'll say Sammy Duvall and Carl Roberge. Uh, Sammy Duvall is still a popular name. He's got a thing out of Disney. Um, great skier, great guy, great businessman, maybe more importantly. He's still banking off being Sammy Duvall as well. He should be because he was the baddest son of a gun on the planet. And Carl Roberge was kind of that same time frame. Um, and... and uh, just equally impressive. I remember the like one of the most humbling experiences in my life and kind of a time that I realized like you know I was like I was doing something I was on the dock at the US team trials with Carl Robert standing right next to me and I just was thinking like how many times I watched that guy when I was a little bitty kid and and I uh, just thought about how BA he was and he was just a totally nice guy you know who would sit there and talk to you and and uh, you know those, those two guys in my opinion are, are, uh, are awesome um, and there's tons more, but to me, those those are my boys. 
What about the big yellow shorts? What are what are yellow shorts? Uh, we were in North Carolina. We go over here, and we were wakeboarding one day, and this kid, Slomsky kid, just came rolling in. And he was, I don't know if it was, it might have been a pond. It was like just like a party boat comes rolling in, and every time he would cut out before he would cut in, he would just give it a, like a big, open arm wave, every cut, both sides. Just letting y'all, just saying, hey guys, so, what's up? But it was like, we're like trying to ride, and he'd come into our cove and just rip it down the lake a couple times and just fade out. So one day we went up and got like a swim cap, and I had got these like really, really tiny shorts. Don't put the picture. Put the picture up. Do it. Put, and like, put do the picture it. up. A little old. We got 98 viewers right now. You put that picture up. We're going to a hundo. <laughs> little neoprene vest. And then ended up ripping down the one he was in. While he was trying to ski in the wakeboard boat and just giving him the big wave on the slums. <laughs> That's a bit rude. That's, hey. bit rude. That's a bit rude. What my idea? I know wonder people. Peppers written all over it. No wonder people don't like wakeboarders. Yeah, Jeez. it's just the Travis guy. <clears throat> um, wakeboard STL. <laughs> whoa, whoa! That's uh, John Pretty from uh, Wakeboard STL. He's he's awesome. Um, but if you see John Pretty, I forget what it is we had to say about him. He lost a bet um, shortly after he left here. And I'm actually going to put a picture up um, of him at the at the camp to say something demoralizing to him every time you see him. And he agreed to that. I have a written agreement, and he agreed to that. So What is this? What is it? I, I, I can't really discuss it. That's a family show. Um, tell us something about Dano that we don't know. Uh, a lot of people don't know that he used to be a awesome shoe skier. I think a lot of people do know that. Yeah, you do. I mean, I have a picture of him. I have a picture sure. of him on the wall at our camp house shoe skiing. I didn't even know it was him until he told me though. Yeah, I mean, it's it's posted up. Bachi, what up? How come he's locked out, little dude? Um, Live life, bud. Okay. Who is more legendary in wakeboarding, you or the legend? Okay, if you don't know the legend, his name is Preston Howerton. Um, he's real BA. Uh, he came down in the camp with, with Pretty uh, and Chance Bixby and uh, threw it down that week and, and got the name The Legend for the week, and it was it was impressive. I was really, uh, really impressed. Uh, who's big? That's my... Big cousin. Oh, okay. Who is the best at your mom jokes? I'm going Robbie Hollihan. Best? I don't know if uh, Robbie's the best. He's the most like ruthless. Ruthless. Like he will straight hate on my mom. I mean, my mom is 65 years old, and she's like the sweetest little lady in the world, and and he's never even met her. The you know, so, up, hit 105. so to 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 judge her. You know, and say things about her is, is fairly inappropriate. And the fact that I heard him go after Ella a couple weeks ago. And he even went off to like, yeah, he went off on Ella. <clears throat> it's hurtful. That draws the line, man. Just Was there ever swim. a time you considered not driving? <clears throat> every day. <laughs> every day of my life. I know there's been a. Um, every time when I'm stuck on a nine-hour delay in uh, Atlanta Hartsfield and having to get a van to drive back home to come get in the boat at the camp Monday morning. Then I consider it, but you know what? I do. Uh, I do still. I really love it. I really enjoy it. Um, I feel like I'm making things uh, better by being there. I feel like I'm contributing to the sport, and I'm just trying to give back to you know the sport that's given me a, a whole lot. Um, and so you know, I'm planning on doing it for a little while. I think that John is starting to speak of the draw. I love it. You know, he lives in St. Cloud, and he hangs out with me a lot, so that's awesome. Who would win in a battle to death over water conditions, John Jeffries or Regis? Me and Regis have run into it a couple times, but Regis. I usually let him win just to avoid... I mean, he is serious. Well, he wears those goggles. He wears goggles when he skis. So, Regis, is, Regis is Regis. Yeah, I, I, I step back when Regis is, steps up to the plate. What have been your favorite venues to drive? Well, when wakeboarding used to be uh, cool enough to be in the X Games, it used to be a sport. Um, 
I used to really love doing that. It was super fun. The days were really easy. You got to do a bunch of other cool stuff, go see cool events, go see concerts, go to cool parties, uh, take my wife with me, uh, do a bunch of fun stuff. Those used to be great. Um, and then apparently wakeboarding uh, somewhere got to be not that cool. Um, I feel like it might be getting, it might be getting cooler again. I mean, with like Parks mm-hmm. went in X Dance, the documentary, sure. um, and just seeing that video made me feel like wakeboarding was cooler. Um, so I hope it's getting cooler again. Do you ever make really great friends at the boarding school, or do you keep it all business? <clears throat> keep it all business. I have no interest <laughs> in anyone that comes here other than putting ducats in my pocket, <laughs> and that's what it's all about. If it ain't green, I don't want nothing to do with it. Um, no, totally kidding. Uh, I make great friends all the time. I mean, for instance, I'm sitting here at the Jeffrey's house, and uh, I love me some Johnny J, and and uh, you know you too, Aaron, you're a good kid. And uh, and the Jeffreys, and you know, met them through the camp. Um, a lot of great guy like Wakeboard STL, John Pretty. Uh, he's my boy, you know. Uh, Chuck Hester and Brandon Poser. And Russ McDonough and uh, Barbecue you know, Drew, no Barbecue Drew, Jerry Robertson. There's there's a lot of people, uh, you know. That's just a few off the top of my head, but a lot of people that have uh, that have come down here and you know made an impact on my life and and that I stay in touch with, uh, stay in touch with, you know, throughout the year. And like Jesus Breeze, my boy Jesus Breeze, what up? Uh, where are we at? Whatever happened to Andy Mapple? He's still kicking it. He helped them design a new boat, and I'm sure he could still go out right now and whip most people's butts. Uh, Andy Mapple is BA. Period. What would you do if you don't didn't drive? I I don't I, I don't know. I get asked that all the time. I'm still trying to trying to figure that out because I'm old. Um. You know, like I always say, I'm only, there are only two things I'm good at is driving a boat and being sarcastic, and nobody's paid me to be an a-hole yet, so <laughs> I, I, I don't know. If y'all know somebody hiring one of them, I'm available. Um, if I have the money, but I'm a beginner wakeboarder, would you buy a full-up wakeboard boat or save some cash and buy like a sea ray I'd buy a wakeboard boat. If that's what you want to do, um, you know, buy the boat you're going to be good enough to use, not a boat that you're going to get, you know, kind of good behind and go, oh, man, I should have dropped a little extra coin and got the one I really wanted. I would save up and and, and buy the boat you want. I'm a firm believer in that. I don't ever buy anything halfway. I mean, I will wait. I will gladly wait if I have to wait six months or a year or two years or whatever it is to get the thing that I really want. I'll wait because I know I'm not going to be happy with something, you know, that's that's not what I really want. I'm going to get get tired of it. Uh, where are we at? Two. Tito. Having driven the X Games, where where'd they go? What are the most memorable moments you were uh, able to be part of there? Um, Parks blowing up <laughs> well you know i tell you danny harf knocking out uh that three peat in la was huge um there was one time in, in philadelphia that that darren fell and and he got up and did a nine off the kicker which at that time was unheard of mm-hmm. um you know and i was i was living with darren and and you know working with him at the time and and that was huge i was you know like i was pretty pumped on it um, so, uh, <clears throat> Russ McDonough, I heard wakeboarding got kicked out of the X Games because you wouldn't let Pastrana's mom ride in the boat. True or false? False! Um, his mom never asked to come get in the boat as far as I know. He came and got in the boat a few times and I gladly obliged that and, uh, you know, I got nothing against moms. They can all ride the boat, right? That, that's right. That's right. Uh, right, that, then you go duck hunting with one up. of your fans. Yes, Russ McDonough. I went duck hunting with him, and <clears throat> I don't know if I'd call him a fan. I'm not sure what his distinction would be. I, I mean, from some of the questions he's been firing at me tonight, I'm not sure if fan is the right <laughs> distinction. 
Uh, you know, I won that contest. There's no way. Preston deserves the title. Chance, you're just you're just wrong. You're just dead wrong. And I know you <laughs> fought it all along, and um, I'm sorry for that. But you know, you know, I think you're a great rider in your own right, and got sick style. And I'll never forget you boosting that double up here, the first one you really cranked, and uh, and that was sick. But, you know, Preston laid it down. <laughs> what can we expect from the internet sensation Aaron Perkins in 2010? I don't know. Me and Norby Vasco are going to be getting together sometime pretty soon within the next probably week, maybe two weeks. You going to um, do some contests or what? Um, I'm going to do some contests, yes. I guess there's some new cable thing going on this. Um, I guess every cable park in America is going to be doing five straight weeks one day out of the, like from out of the week they'll take I think it'll be season to like Thursday afternoon and they take it and they just take I don't know who, like it goes from beginner to pro I think and they're gonna take it and have contests and whoever scores the most points at whatever cable you go to in America at the end of the fifth week they send them to the Texas ski yeah Texas ski ranch and then they go head to head in their like in their division I like that so I th- I'm going to get into that and hopefully get sent to Texas. NBC, man. That's where all the good people are. I like that. <laughs> Bocce making a little cruise through the screen down there. Um, let me ask you this. When you go to these contests, are you going to be smart? Are you going to like listen to so people like Sean your neighbor Murray Sean Murray when he makes Travis suggestions Moyle. about what you should be doing and not doing? And Are you going to listen to him Yeah, I, I and do the things that he says considering he's like a legend and a multi-time world champion and he's, and he's read more contests than just about anybody in the and world he's going to listen to what he says won every contest except for X Games and he has his own video game are you going to listen to what he says I'm, I'm going to listen to him ok because I know that's not happened in the past <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that was one contest <laughs> that doesn't matter that one, one's talk much. about who you thought was the best wakeboarder in the world who do you think is the best women's wakeboarder the best women's wakeboarder Nicola Dana Preble I don't even know who that is. <laughs> uh, uh, um, Ramey? You know, Ramey's made some big strides. Dallas, you know, Dallas Nicola, is strong. Nicola ain't got that spin, though. Nicola, sure. um, Amber Wing, you know, Melissa, you uh, know, AJ. Emily. I, I think a lot of those girls have, have a lot to lot to bring to the table. I hope they, uh, you know, it seems like they've really been driven to, to kind of bump it up the past few years, and I, I hope they keep that up. Um, what's the key to driving pro double ups? Watch detention 2012. I don't, do I do it? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Do you do, you do one? Yeah, <laughs> you do one. <laughs> yeah, but do I t- tell you how to drive a double up? Yeah. yeah. There's a diagram there. Yeah, the yeah. helicopter hey. shot. Boom, 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 Go boom, by detention 2012. Boom, boom. Sean's about to pop out another kid. His wife's going to pop it out. Another kid any day now. 29 bucks. Other people be trying to sell it to you for a hundred bucks, not naming any names, but Sean Murray sell it to you for twenty nine bucks. Uh, RWC says we have the best cable operators. Well, we see more wakes came from Aaron Perkins in two thousand ten. I think we just discussed that. Yep. How do you set up a week at the boarding school? Um, well, people, we get people from all over the planet come to the boarding school and just email me. I'll I'll get you going straight, and you know, people come in on Sunday night and. And stay with us for the week, and and uh, and cruise out Friday night, and uh, you know you can me. you can ride as much as you like, and um, airport pickups. We've got we got I don't don't even get me with airport pickups. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that right, right now. now. We are we oh, had uh, a fluke. <laughs> don't even get oh, me going. You. Oh, about a week. Oh, don't you even don't want one. <laughs> don't even get me going right now on Always the airport pickups. Doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Okay. OWC or McCormick's cable. Have you ever dealt with a jerkwad at any of your camps? How do you deal with that? I have actually. Um, I've had you know you run enough people through there and you're gonna get some some weird people, some jerkwads. Um, we've actually asked some people to leave. Um, I have a blacklist. Um, people that were never be allowed to come back um so yeah it's, it's pretty rare uh, most people we get are really cool but it, it does happen 
Uh, what was it like having John Pran as your personal servant? He, he, I think he helped Murray out. And he came and helped me at my mother-in-law's house one day just for a few minutes. Um, I didn't know that position was being filled. You know, I could use a personal servant like Murray. He's got a like <laughs> ten or twelve. Of, he's got a little army over his house. Um, I don't have anything like that. If it gets done in my house, it's me or my wife doing it. And you know, I'm trying to teach Ella stuff, but at nine months, she ain't good for much except looking cute. You know, so she can't cut down a palm tree leaf. No, we're, we're working on it. Pole saw. She ain't working on this. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I have been in the business a long time since wakeboarding started. Um, you know, directional days and. And I can name a lot of names, people that have no idea who they are, and board companies that have been gone for 15 years. Uh, John, when are you going to teach Gabby how to wakeboard? I need to. I promised her a long time ago that I would, and it just hasn't come up yet. So, so you're not a man to your word. So what's the deal? I mean, what's what's? Well, I mean, why are you holding out on Gabby? Her boyfriend's like one of my really good friends. And I want to make it like seem like. Yeah, you're trying I'm to steal trying, her. I'm not trying to like you can't press bring, up on you this You can't girl. bring him out on the boat as well? I mean, he's an ass. Fine with me. He's an he's ass? He's a busy soccer player. No, he's not an ass. I thought you just said he's an No, he's ass. a great guy. He sits in front of me in math. We, we go teamwork on the test sometimes. What? what? Uh, then not on here. Not in front of your parents. You, What's I, wrong with Wake's No, like there's a date or a, um, a bet going on with straight A's right now. And if your dad yeah. knows you're cheating... It doesn't care if I'm cheating as long as I don't cut. <laughs> What's wrong with wake skating? Nothing's wrong with it. Uh, favorite wakeboard. Favorite wakeboard. Mine has always been, I don't know if you remember, Jerry Nunn had a board. And it with was him, him with his Superman the Superman and the long hair. That was pretty sad. I've always wanted it. Like, I saw one performance one Ripping time. Ripping out of the... Um, that, yeah. That was pretty tight. That or Sean, or um, Sean's graphic that's in the camp with the blob dudes. Yeah. Um, you know, I always got to represent Sean Murray with the wakeboards, and I feel like they are great boards and super consistent, and you can put somebody from a beginner to a pro on it, and they're going to be able to ride it well. And to me, that's what uh, that's what classifies a good wakeboard. If uh, you can put anybody on it and they can ride it, no matter the skill level, that's what a good wakeboard is to me. I have a question while we're at it that someone asked me the other day. Why was it back, let's go back in time, like, three years or so, you could have a wakeboard and you could ride it to death. And it would now, never break. But now, or never, it would like never get stale. But nowadays it seems like boards are starting to like, you ride them for like a month and you're like, wow, it's kind of missing its pop. Crisp. It's mi- Yeah. Sean talks about that all the time. I mean, I had a... Shut up. <laughs> about Bronix and stuff like that all the time. <laughs> this kid's an idiot. Um... Okay, where do we go? It could be because you're smaller. We're talking. Where's the favorite? Maybe and it okay. wasn't. Maybe okay. and it was because there was not that much. Um, um, do you normally hold a major grudge against people who choose to try a different camp other than the wakeboarding school, or just the boarding school, just for one year? I mean, uh, are you saying you're going to go somewhere else this year, Chance? Because um, you know, no, I'm not going to hold a major grudge. And this is way on the blacklist. I'm probably going to give you a rate hike uh, the next time you call, <laughs> uh, just to make up for you not coming here this year. But no, I'm not going to hold a grudge. That would be, I mean, what am I do for? Like, if all of a sudden, like, I usually drink Diet Coke, and t- today I'm going to drink Diet Pepsi. Is Diet Coke going to be mad at me? No, I wouldn't be like that. It's, it's just we. I, I don't even know what you're talking about, Chance. Whatever. Uh, Kaylee. John's got ladies blowing up. You notice Dude. that? Mm-mm. She's my Money favorite. thing. Hey. Really? Hmm? Kaylee's your Am favorite? Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. No. Yeah, you're allowed to say no. it. No. your favorite? <laughs> kind of. Really? Do you know who this Kaylee chick is? You got a picture? I don't think so. You got a Facebook or something? Yep, probably. Looking on, looking on to the show. You said you got a, you got an iPhone. Set it up. <laughs> Kaylee, send us a picture. I want to know what's up if you're, you're John's favorite. Travis might not, but I do trade her. Where's Chance going? Pretty, where's Chance going? This is upsetting. Uh, George is really settling her in a tantrum. John, you're my dog. I'll see you in math. Bright and early. 
break when you get a board what one is it uh i get them all i just put in an order for about 20 of them a day 109 <laughs> motive 109 but i got a personal <laughs> i do have a personal 109 motive actually and it's pretty ba uh trout lady although it is a wakeboard camp how many people have you taught to barefoot this guy uh this guy a lot every friday we uh we try to do barefoot friday uh we get a lot of people going and, and it's awesome uh okay yeah whatever you got to do chance you know uh that's all good all right, we need something this new. This is awkward. <laughs> this is awkward. Okay, so I have questions. Fire something at me. Um, what about wake surfing? What about wake surfing? Uh, we are we ever gonna bring back Camo Fridays? We have Camo Friday every Friday. Only usually like half the people forget, and then by half I mean Sean or Kyle or whoever else is here on Friday. I always wear camo on Friday. <laughs> Believe that. Um, okay, fire up question. What about wake surfing? How do you feel? What about Ooh. wake surfing? Uh, it's getting rough. Oh man, <laughs> you know, I got I got nothing but love for wake surfing, John. Uh, I just don't want to drive it. You know, and that, that's that's what's up. I'm not uh, I'm not into going ten miles an hour in a circle for an hour or two at a time and it wears me down and i feel like that's something in my life that i've i've earned the the privilege of not having to do but it just hadn't worked out like that for me so okay and um scariest experience pulling a rider not in a contest not in a contest um is there any way you can see all these comments i don't know i mean i've i've uh you know, I don't know. I've seen you know multiple people get knocked out, and and what's that all from? This is all, like all, all, all the things. I didn't know you could even find these. Um, this is all ours. Yeah. You know, I don't like it when people get knocked out. I'm not really that into that. Let's get to the bottom. Do we have new uh, questions? questions? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just wait. Just wait a second. Oh my god. Just wait. Uh, worst just host do. ever. Just wait a second. Um. Does the boarding school have a mission statement? Yeah, we do have a mission statement. Um, you know, all right. Really, we try uh, to. That? Hello, kid right. on the right. All right. Look who just freaking added me on Facebook. Hey, confirm. Confirm it. Um, I know that girl. She's pretty cute. Who is she? She goes. She graduated either two years ago or this year. Uh. What, what question were we talking about? John, who are you thinking about taking a prom? I don't know. It's too far away to figure that out now. Can I really? go with you? Hmm? Can I go with you? Probably go and see. I'm going to take my mom. Oh, That's what I was going to take. That was wide open. I'm just going to leave that, though. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave what you just said. <laughs> back at me. How are my foosball skills? They're rusty. I used to be all up on it, but I love foosball, and I and I got to play. I'm the goalie from the back. This left wrist, I can freaking wah! Let it love go. Love it. Let, let it, it go. go. I love foosball. Um, when I bought my first house, I wanted to make the dining room a, a foosball room, and my wife, she wasn't my wife at the time. She was just my girlfriend, and, and she moved in with me right away, and uh, she didn't think the foosball room was that great an idea, but I... You know, to me, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was great. So your girlfriend? At the time, she was my girlfriend. Is it Kristen now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Brotherhood 804, is this live? Yes, sir. Ooh, ooh. It's live right now. I got a little delay on the screen here, but it's live. Hit me up. Um, what is a day at the boarding school like? Um, a day at the boarding school is like uh, it's like riding a unicorn <laughs> through uh, through floppy, sunflowers through sunflowers pillows to grow out of yeah while uh, while eating your favorite food that's what it's like you know 
I like to think a day at the boarding school is pretty fun, and, and uh, you know, you're going to learn a ton of stuff. It's basically like spending a day with your boys, even though we're not your boys, but we're going to become your boys, uh, you know, on the boat all day, and, and, and only we know what to tell you. Um, so, uh, you know, what we, what we like to call it is uh, we have two words we're using now. First one is professionality. Okay. We like to consider we have like professionalism and personality put together to combine professionality, you know. And then the new one Sean Murray just came up with, fun instruction. I like that. You know. I like so that. So you learn, getting your learn on, but you're having fun while while you're doing it. OWC or McCormick Cable? I have been to McCormick Cable. Um, I don't. I'm not around the cable. McCormick know. Cable is awesome, but I don't. I just feel OWC's got better atmosphere. What about that team on the video? The team. Well, that's a pretty awesome team. That's I would consider the most awesome team in uh, dream team and in, in wakeboarding schools anyway. You got Travis Moy, Sean Murray, Robbie Jakes, Josh Palmer, Kyle Rattray. Um, you know, Rattray was the first person we hired. Like it's been a little over three years now, and uh, he's uh, you know one of my best friends in the world, and and uh, great coach, amazing rider. You know, helps drive on the tour. He's skateboard team manager, does stuff for Roswell. You know, um, Kyle's like a get it done kind of guy. And he's gonna, you know, he's gonna do well in life because he knows how to just make things happen. Um, Palma, awesome, uh, very good kid. Ripper, you know, probably one of the more. I don't know if he's underrated or people just don't know about him yet. But he, I also extremely West Coast style, extremely talented rider. He's one of my top three riders. Uh, I like to watch. <laughs> Travis, do you ever get round, brown, and on the ground? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't, hot pants. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I know what you're talking about, but no, I don't. Uh, what's the going rate for a week at the boarding school, or does it just depend? It doesn't just depend. It's 1700 all the time. Um, we run limited numbers through there. We only take five people per week. Um you know, so no matter what time of year, whatever, that's that's what it is, and and uh, you know, honestly, I, I feel like it's worth it. Um, it's awesome. So where are we at? Uh, when is your next wacky ad going to come out? I feel like our next one's going to be wacky. I know we've been pretty straightforward. Last year we we're pretty straightforward. Um, I feel like our next one's probably going to be wacky. If I had to guess. I like that. Uh, so hit me up. New question. Sean is the house of style while he's competing. Did you ever have a nickname while you were under the competitive wave? Uh, well, you know, now pretty much everybody calls me T-Bone now. Mm-hmm. T-Bone. I used to be T-Bone. I was T-Bone forever and ever. Uh, and, you know, it's just kind of changed over the years. But, you know, still all my, all my old friends from back in the day call me T-Bone or Bone, just Bone. Um, so yeah, that was it. Uh, Drew, when are we going bowling? We can take John. I, don't, I, don't know. I, uh, I my arm doesn't extend. I can't really bowl, so that's all y'all. Bowling or weevil? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Travis, I heard you use medical tape on your handles. Any truth to that, or is it reserved for campers from Texas? Um. <laughs> That's what we were talking. These guys were here, and there was another person here that was uh, their hands were just like bleeding. Oh, and I so they that. they had uh, the guy was wrapping his hands up in tape heavily, and so he was riding, and all the sticky from the tape was getting on the handle. I think I've ridden that handle and, before, and they were bent about it. But you know what, Chance, uh, you're not gonna have to worry about that this year, Chance. So uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, what up, fellas? What up, Chilling. fellas? Look up Daniel Powers. DP! 
Yeah, Daniel Powers. He's another kid, up and coming kid. Fun to watch. Great. He always crazy high. Like Adam Arrington. Like uh, he's got more than that, dude. Like he's got no, more like, than Adam Arrington. No, I, I, he does more than Keith Lyman. No, dude, this kid can freaking ollie. Have you ever so seen like, Keith Lyman ollie? Keith Lyman could jump over Daniel Powers while he was ollieing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Um, one of the more impressive ollies I've seen Keith do is. Uh, Oh, God. Your dog just got pwned. But she just screamed from the other room. Um, That's why you don't leave her in there with my mom. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the nicest thing I've heard you say about Daniel is he doesn't ride like a kid. He, he, like a, he does. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's got his own license. He's no kid. He doesn't ride like a kid. A junior pro man. Um, but one of the more impressive eyes I've ever seen Lyman do is... Uh, Freddie, Freddie Wayne, y'all. They they had that water trampoline out in front of their house. Yeah, I've I've, I've seen. And it. my man straight cut and just ollied a water trampoline. I mean that's no, that's not I only. I know a water trampoline you're talking about too. That's man. not only pretty yeah. high, it's far. So uh, that's you, some snap. You got to get up on that. Um, how many shoulders have you popped out? Um, I popped my my own out quite a few times. Um, <laughs> I got that fixed now, though. I think it's in, so, at the camp. The only one I've ever done has been Keith Lyman's. That's and it life. sucked. Uh, just because I've gone through that quite a few times myself and, and, and know what all's, you know, what all comes with that. It's not, it's not cool. Uh, Chance, I'll make two trips this year. All right. Both hold, to the boarding school. Calling you to that. Um, you're still probably going to get a rate hike. Uh, with the price of <laughs> Russ McDonough, with the price of gas basically free at the Rue these days, any chance we will see you know a little something for my efforts on your behalf? Um, yeah, you know, Russ, I feel like I feel like I put in the effort when you guys are here. Um, you know, I mean, just having to show up on a daily basis for you guys here is like I feel like enough. Um, and you know, I'm worried about Will taking swings at me with that baton and stuff. And you know, it's I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, so yeah. Um, barbecue Drew wants to know how long is the wait for a week at the boarding school? It depends. You know, a lot of weeks you can get right in. There's been a few weeks in March and April that you know we only take five people. I bet I've had 25 people call about. It's just you know spring break kind of weeks and. Um, you know, there's certain weeks you got to be ready to get up on. Kaylee, ask John for a pick. He knows where to find one. We'll get up on that after the show. I want to see it now. After the show. Don't you feel like it's we should a, see, I it want to see it now? It's a secret. Show me on the phone when it's I have to show it to the camera. It's a secret. Get on your phone. I've dude. heard about his secret pictures. Preference of boat. I've heard about his secret pictures before. Preference of boat. Is, 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 that, it that, is it that secret? Preference of boat. Why would you say that? Is it that thing? secret? Be honest. It's not about. that secret. So I'm going to have to readjust the white balance. <laughs> my, my mother is watching this. <laughs> um, preference of boat. I think we discussed yeah, this already. <laughs> Matchcraft X Star. Not that secret. Um, Very secret. You like her. You like her a lot. Bachi, what up? Um, are most of your students more advanced or just learning? Just learning. Just learning. Uh, most people we get are beginner, maybe intermediate. Um, you know, we can teach anything from beginner to pro level, but most of them are beginnerish. Uh, Danny Kennedy got a sweet tire too for Travis. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, this is pretty good. I, I made a prank call up to performance last week. I actually had to call about something. And uh, Danny Kennedy picked up the phone and and uh, I pranked him and I got away with it for like three to five minutes probably and it was pretty awesome. I was asking about inner tubes and uh, I kept clearing my throat real abruptly. I was like, mm, mm, excuse me, excuse me. Mm. He's like, sir, you okay? I'm like, mm, mm. And I asked him about inner tubes and I kept him going for a real long time and Finally, he uh, realized it was me, and I told him I was a farmer, and he goes, where's your farm? St. Cloud? And uh, that's when I knew it was on to me. So I usually can't get it over because people pick up 
I don't know if y'all detected it, I have a small accent, and uh, <laughs> people usually people usually pick up on it. Is it true that sometimes during camp you feed your campers dog treats disguised as beef jerky? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's, here's the situation. That has happened. Um, you know, it's happened twice now, I think, and the first time it went over really well, and everybody laughed, and, and we'd been eating beef jerky in the boat all week, and we swapped out the beef jerky with dog treats, and the first person takes the bite, and they're like, man, this beef jerky's weird. <laughs> the next person goes, really? Let me see. I'm like, oh, this beef jerky's horrible. The next person, let me see. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, it only takes one person for me when they go, oh, this is horrible. I'm like, I'll take your word on it. I'll have to try it. <laughs> they went around the whole boat, five guys. I was sitting in the driver's seat about to pee my pants. Every single one of them made dog treats. Uh, and they, they all laughed it off, but we did it a second time, and uh, I wasn't here that day. It was Sean and Kyle, and the guy got really, really mad and uh, locked himself in his room at lunch and was pissed, and so we kind of... Locked himself in his room? Well, just closed himself in the room and, you know... Didn't he was right again? Yeah, he was, he was, he was mad. Did he blacklist you? No, I actually <laughs> talked to him since then, and he's been cool. Uh, but he was really mad at the time. Um, what's the weirdest thing campers have done on your boat? That's a pretty good question. I, uh, I, I saw that last week. Struggled to get a wetsuit off, so I mean that was. I've had, you know, I've had, I, I, I've had some bad things happen on my boat, and as once again, it's a family show. I don't want to talk about it. That's that goes back to having <coughs> asked, bless you, asking Season people to leave. I've, I've asked people to leave from doing certain things. Shirts and skins. I've seen a weird color sash. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's it's usually left. shirts or skins. No, it was a... Randomly, we were driving back from McCormick's a couple days ago, and there was, like, the biggest group of people playing basketball. It's, like, the biggest group, and they were all uh, African-American. And their <coughs> shirts were skins, but it was, like... They were playing basketball, but there was so many people. There was like enough to play a full-on, like college football game. There's so many of them. They're just on like. Half Do you know how many people that is? Because <laughs> I think each college football team has like 82 players. Yeah, or something. it's probably that many on there. We should Google how many people are on a college football team. It's a lot. It's like there's like so seven just, for every. There's like seven for every position. So there, just then. don't say there's enough to play a college football game because you have no idea what you're talking about right now. You look like a complete idiot right now. You know what? 84. You 84. are 84. Your resume says 84. You look like... So you're telling me that there were 168 people. I'm not... It, there was 168 people ready to play up. Maybe, maybe two times that. <laughs> There's a good, here's a good one. <laughs> with all the companies with new innovations for wake surfing, such as wedges and hulls, which company do you see have in the right direction for making good waves? Um, I think Mastercraft because they got those new surf tabs. True. You can get surf tabs. Uh, that's all they're for. They're not to make the wakeboard and wake better because you can't make a wakeboard and wake better than I'm that. So bummed about the legend. <laughs> um, and uh, you know they're really trying to step it up in the surf pattern. Once someone is actually coined as the legend, does that status that individual roll over to multiple years or since it's really false? <laughs> when anyway, is it really have no preference in later camping trips? Uh, well, here's the situation. Real Legends Stampy One Camp. Um, you know, if y'all want to have another contest to to see who is the new legend, I'm good with that. Uh, last year during that week, I think it was just said, you know, to be said throughout the week. Um, I think that was the deal. But if y'all saw that freaking wooden wakeboard, y'all, I'll post that up on Facebook, right? Make the bomb. The legend oh, had that, that made for us. It's, it's yeah. legit, so he like might press and stuff, right? Yeah, it's it's insane. So he's gonna get a lot of extra love. Uh, is that the next X2 model? Uh, you can get surf tabs on X2. You can get them on an X Star. You can get them on an X25. You can get them on an X whatever you want. Um, they're good. Donuts. Mm, donuts. I think he's hollering out for a sip and dip right now. Ooh. Uh, you know, we were at. Catfish place, and there was some sip and dip hate 
from my fi- well, my family. Really? Yeah. I've actually never been to the Sip and Dip. Um, I've gotten donuts there from Robbie Hallahan many a times uh, when he comes in the morning. Um, just in case you're wondering, if you stop by the Sip and Dip on the way to the camp and, and you want to get me something, Boston Cream. That's what I want. Uh, yeah, we're getting. We already got two haters right there. What's a sip and dip? I don't even know what it is. What's a sip and dip? Um, it's a it's a donut shop here in St. Cloud, and the only thing I'm upset about the sip and dip is they went to Dunkin' Donuts colors. Hey man, you gotta let them know. Like, hey, listen, we're here. I feel like they're I feel like their own they're their own entity and I don't feel like they needed to poach. Uh, what if Dunkin' Donuts might have gone over there and thrown a couple contracts at them? I don't know. I can see there being issues. Um, Donuts are three days old, my mom says. Okay. See, I don't I don't know. She's just hating. Lisa, what? Okay, uh, Russ McDonough. Hey, Trav, should I do a KGB five? Why not? Couldn't hurt. Story. Uh, this is at the uh, Ackworth Tour Stop a few years ago, probably four or five years ago now. And uh, Sean Murray was riding. He was the next to the last rider of the day, I think. Shane Bonifay was after him. And, this was gnarly. Wait, where was this? Uh, Ackworth. Ackworth. And so, you know, Sean had been doing KGB fives for a while and, you know, made them all the time. And he did them big and gigantic like he does KGBs. Um, and right before he got up out of the water he goes hey should i do a kgb5 i go couldn't hurt well it turns out he got knocked out cold was face down not breathing um it hurt like hell <laughs> so it really scared me to death and luckily uh drew mcguckin was in the boat with us and and uh he was on it and hasselhoffed it and got in the boat and got him on the back of the boat and um i remember being at the camp like after everything was already recovered and having people falling and then you guys running tests as y'all fast you could get back to the rider so yeah it was it was uh it was scary it was scary um and then shane bonifay had to ride after that like it was the biggest debbie downer ever but he went out and did did well um i think that's when he literally did one of the best heel sevens off the wake i'd ever ever seen at the point i still think he does one of the best heel sevens off the wake uh, don't don't hate on donuts. I'm sipping dip. Okay, yeah, we're really blowing up. They're made fresh every day. Um, I hear chances breaking down my status. Where, where are we at? I got the legend. Yeah, uh, Preston, he is breaking down your status, and he's talking about doing crazy things like going to other wakeboard camps and. I don't know what his deal is, and I thought he had a great time here, and um, whatever, you know. Uh, that's that's the way it is. DK, call me about that. We'll talk about it. We're not going to talk to Travis about it. What did he want? Down low. Well, uh, nothing's up with the camp for April's full day, April Fool's Day this year. Call me. No. How about for April Fools, I put my foot <laughs> sideways up your butt, DK. Uh, On yeah. my iPhone. Soak me, you can get on the iPhone. You can get on the iPhone. That's new. My buddy, I'm banging us out on a hit right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we at? What are we at? 142. Dude, that's honestly like I'm. Sean's uh, go up to like I think like 300 maybe. But he's Freddie, Freddie Wayne, y'all. Yeah, he's also Sean Murray. <laughs> Dan Maybe. Kennedy is bringing Uh-oh. heat at you right now. Get Bocce in here. Get Bocce in here. We Come need. Here, buddy. This will probably get us a few hits. DK is bringing heat on you. What's he at? Bring it, Geezer, and your little dog. Oh, yeah. Let me get it. Speaking of my little dog. Here you go, buddy. Yep. Here he is, people. Bocce dog. Everybody knows this dog. is. You can leave him on the table I'll, I'll right here. I'll shine you. He wouldn't. Sit. Bocce, Sit. Um, I'm gonna sit down, bro. Bocce sit. Is I mean, there any extra fee for the on-site medical services provided by Mr. Rob Jakes? Uh, well, you know, Robbie's actually in school training to be a fireman right now, 
and so he's learning all the EMT stuff and and all that, which is awesome. I'm really I'm really proud of Rob, man. He's uh, you, he stepped up and and uh, doing something big with his life, man. I think he's gonna be great at it. Um, Hopefully, it doesn't get burned. He ain't getting burned, like man. Like Kobe Mikasich. Why are you throwing the hate out? Um, <laughs> so yeah, here's Bocce people. Bocce, the most awesome dog in wakeboarding. Um, I mean, there's a lot of awesome dogs, but I, you know, I feel like he's definitely one of the more awesome ones. Uh, you know, along with like Emma, and that little dog uh, Melissa Marquette has is pretty crazy too. Yeah. Like I like that dog a lot. It's pretty awesome. Um, Can't wait to ride TBS in June, Adam. That's right, Adam. Woo woo! We're ready for you, buddy. Bachi, bachi, bachi. Um, yeah, and Bachi is the best dressed too. He's got a little wardrobe. This dog's got no fur and zero percent body fat. He gets a little chilly during the winter time, so we uh we got to cover him up, man. What's my favorite tournament to drive? We talked about this. Uh, it used to be the X Games. Um. You know, now, I don't know. I like going to Reno because your boy be throwing down on the blackjack table. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, and it's fun. Blackjack and roulette, you know, it's super fun. They put me in the skankiest hotel room ever, but <laughs> I'm going to really... Uh, you going to stay in the nugget with us? Oh, I'm in the, yeah, y'all get the new side of the nugget that's like... Oh, no, we don't. I was all, I was all up in your side. You got like the burgundy the red, side. Yeah, the red. Yeah, the burgundy. Oh, it's red everywhere. Yeah. That's, you can't get some more burgundy in that room. That's where I am, buddy. So do those riders stay in trouble out there? And the, <laughs> uh, no comment. Uh, <laughs> gravel tour. I do love the gravel tour. Travis, please tell me you're single. I know probably most ladies are asking that question right now. Booyah, Stephanie. Married for five years. Uh, got a nine-month-old little baby girl. Um, as unsingle as they come. Real happily married. Uh, am I still rolling the Gold Flake Star? I am, actually. My new boat should be here by the end of March. Um... And I have loved the Gold Flake Star. My new one is uh, slate, slate gray, top and bottom, and then the side is uh, gun metal flake. So it's going to be kind of a monochromatic look. You just blew the whole. I was all excited. Yeah. You, I mean, every you year done that. you never tell me the colors until I always get to just go down to the dock, and you just totally blew it for me. What is yours? Dang, man. <laughs> well, I have to see if they haven't made it yet. I'll pick new colors. <laughs> um, yeah, Barefoot Friday going down. Barefoot Friday. During a normal camp session, how many new swear words do you usually learn from campers? Um, a lot, because I don't swear personally. Um, <laughs> and so I, I learn, but that's where I learn most, of, most of them. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's from campers and like from John and what? stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, my mother watches this. So yeah, I've heard John. Do I know anything about the new grind water wake surfboards? I don't. I mean, I know Darren. Uh, that's Darren's company, and you know, Darren straight kills it on a surfboard. Um, so I would imagine he makes a good wake surfer. Uh. You know, other than that, that's that's all I know. Um, take off my shirt. No, oh, come on. Come on, Stephanie. I mean, I don't want to get everybody all hot and bothered up in here. I'm keeping it PG. We're not going to 13 yet. Plus... He's got the V-neck on. Just let, let it go. Plus, uh, Does it get any more you know, I have been working there? out ever since my little daughter's been born. And I'm uh, it's not, as, not as buff as I used to be. I mean, I'm still... Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm still in incredibly good shape for uh, Boat driver. for my age and uh, incredibly strong for my size and age. Um, so, you know, but uh, I'm a little, not quite as, I'm not as tight like a tiger as I used to be. Speaking of used to be. I see that picture. What's funny, if you see, if y'all are looking at that picture, that those guys holding me up, I'm like the same age as those guys. I was just a little guy. I was a little dude 
when I was like 15, I was 5'2", buck 05, just a little dude. But that made me quick like a cat, man. You know? Uh, Bachi looks like he's wanting to get down. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let him go. We're going to let Bachi down. you got to let him free. you got to let him run free. Sorry for all the surf questions. Any remarks of knowledge about the Centurion wave? <sighs> I've never even been in a Centurion. I don't, you know, I'm sorry I don't know about that at all. <laughs> I was 5'2", 105H5. Mike, my cousin. Big Mike. 5'2", 105H5. I believe that. How do you know Mike? Over? <laughs> I believe that. Russ McDonough. Stephanie <laughs> must be a dude who's attracted to the V-neck. I'm just saying. We just lost power. No. What happened? What? Oh, man. Woo! Uh, a lot of ladies are attracted to the V-neck. If you'll see most fashionable fellas out on the beat today, they're, they're rocking the V-neck. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. He'll uh, do it. He'll bring it down. David Beckham, you know. Um, He's questionable. Questionable? Like, you, just because it doesn't say 6.0 on it or whatever... You know, if 6.0 made nothing but V-neck shirts, you would think they were the baddest thing ever made. True. All right. They do so, make V-neck though. I know. I, I know how to rock it, and I you know I feel like I'm I'm uh I'm good. Stephanie says she's very attracted. Hey, nothing wrong with that, Stephanie. You know, you got eyes, don't you? That's what <laughs> why, I'm saying. Why not let them wander? Uh, is it true that Perkins rips on a wakeboard and not just a wake skate? I've never seen Aaron ride a wakeboard. I've been doing it lately. You camp. have? I'm not really gonna say too much about it, but I've been I've been getting on one at the cable every once in a while. That's cool. Okay, there's a picture right now. Me and me and my beautiful wife and my little daughter just popped off. Uh, Brian Boitano wears V-necks. Um, okay. Is that a Facebook picture? That is a Facebook like picture. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, yeah, whatever, Chance. I don't know why you have so much hate for me just because you lost a contest and I happen to be the judge. I think somebody else was judging that, that week too and you just have hate for me in your heart. And it takes a lot to carry that around, so I hope you can let that go. Does Joe uh, Jonas wear be next? I'm sure he does. He's pretty. And you know, cool. you know Joe pulls it. He does. That's all I'm saying. True that. Uh, it should make Chase happy. Why are you not wearing the DJ Lance hat right now? Because I forgot to bring it. Honestly, I forgot to bring there it. There it is, right there. Uh, mm. I really, uh, I really should have. I meant to. Uh, <laughs> uh, my brother, obviously, not tuning in to Stoke Meter. He just sent me a text. <laughs> Yeah, my brother Trey, he's wanting me to play a word uh, on Words of Friends, but he used some profanity, actually. It kind of didn't sound like a friend by the tone of the text message. I actually have seven seven words to play right now. Uh, I'll begin at that later. Uh, what do I think about the new tour format? Uh, Lame. Stupid. Okay, you know, I, my brother, play a word. <laughs> okay, let's see where he's at. Uh, okay, my only concern with the new t- tour format is I feel like I'm going to be gone from home an extra day. I'm never going to be able to get home on that Saturday night, and I'm going to be gone more. Uh, but, I, you know, I think they're... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm beating him by 40 points at the right now. You know what? He's like, just gunning for the comeback. <laughs> you pipe down. You'll you'll take your whipping later, son. Um, you know, but I think the way they're doing it, and you know, marketing it as Saturday is the big day. You know, I think it's a good thing. Probably. You know, I love wakeboarding, and I don't want to sit there two days straight and watch it. Um, so you know, I think it's gonna hopefully it'll drive more people in, and it'll make it where it's like an actual like a big thing that afternoon and. An evening, and uh, I, I really hope it, it works out. Uh, are there any bro stock type events on the East Coast? I don't I don't know. Not to my well, knowledge. Wakestock is going to be where? Wakestock's in Canada. I thought it was in England this year. Oh, there's a Wakestock in England, too. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Ross McDonough says you're slacking. Oh, well, Ross McDonough is killing me this round, which, uh, like I said, I... You know who's really good at this? Joey Medoff. I got yeah I gotta I gotta try him out. I've also heard that Ben Greenwood's really good. I just I have a game going with him. Rattray's all right. I heard he's unbeatable. Uh, Kyle actually beat me last game. Yeah, he was he, proud. He told me. It did. He. It was it was a good game. It was a really really good game. What would you change about it if you ran the tour? Um, well, I don't want to let let that out, but you know, uh, Sean. Murray has some great ideas about the tour, and, and we've sat down and brainstormed about some things. And, um, you know, I think there's there's a day that you could possibly see some events that uh, hopefully we, we help orchestrate and are more of a part of than just driving the boat and riding behind the boat. Uh, so, you know, maybe we'll see something happen. Have you ever counted the how many times Kyle says like in one day? I have not. I have not. I'll I'll try to do that. I'll get one of those little clickers, uh, like a doorman has or something, and and uh, see if I can figure that out. One sixty, man. It'd be cool if we could get two hundo. But let's get some more. Let's get some more. Let's get that dog back in here. <laughs> That'll do it. Hey, we've been on for an hour and a half. We, yep, yep. Have you pulled Nick Davies wow. yet? Wow. And what do you think of him as a boat rider coming? From the being the best cable rider on the planet, I was wondering if you pulling experienced pro cable guys hold their weight behind the boat. Okay, here's the situation with Nick Davies. That kid rode gravel tour. That gravel one tour that one time. I judged. And I'm talking. That was the first time. You, that's the first time anyone's ever seen him. It was like that kid was. What he did? He did what? Toe side back. Toe seven, heel seven, toe back five, back yeah. mob. Yeah, like within like, half the lick. Like, it was nobody's business, and I literally, I left the lake so excited that day. I, I, I called multiple people. I called Bischoff, uh, Bish, from the head of the tour. I called uh, Sean. I called multiple people leaving the lake that day, and I said, I just saw the kid who's going to win the whole tour this year. I think I remember Sean talking about that. And uh, he just didn't put it together. I, I, you know, I don't know. two stops. But at those stops, yeah. even, it just didn't happen. And I don't know what happened. I mean, that kid, obviously, I've never seen him ride cable in person other than Dude, just uh, on video. But, you know, I remember the first time, you know, I told Sean that about him behind the boat. And then, and then uh, you know, Sean saw him at the cable one day. And this is Sean Murray saying this. He said he has the next level of comfort on a wakeboard. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, Sean has a level of comfort that on a wakeboard that, you know, most people will never. And if you ever just watch him ride around, the kid's just bouncing around, doing whatever. He, I was at the cable. He never has to think about anything. And, and, you know, he left there feeling that about that kid. And so, I mean, that, that kid's definitely, he's a badass. I was at the cable, and he did wow. something. He, arm through the handle, air rolled a blind, passed the handle, decided he's just going to cut into the wake the last second and do it. Crow five. I like that. Yeah, he's Have any of the table. three of you been flow riding? Well, now that they shut down that flow rider in the Florida Mall. Drew, no. did, did, Drew, did Drew know that? Is a better question. He oh, knows because he, he was going to Tampa to go do it or something. Uh, really? I don't think I'd waste the money. No, I'm good. Um, so. Uh, do you make a lot of people's voicemails? Uh, I don't make a lot of people's voicemails, but you know, one thing I, I pride myself in is leaving quality voicemails. Um, I really, really enjoy it, and I like a lot of times when I'm calling people, I'm actually hoping they don't pick up, so I, I can leave them a good voicemail. And I have friends that have saved them for years and years, and that is my voicemail. Uh, it's one of Travis's and, voicemails to me. Yeah, and John's been rocking the same one for a, like a year, and and it was great. It needs to be cleaned up though. Yeah, well, you can't read. You can't fix that. I mean, I, I'll leave him another one at some point, but I can't remake that one. We got some. Uh, we just waiting for the edited version on one of the voicemails one time to throw on it. Yeah, but you know that's that's one of those things. Like I, a lot of people might not know this, I actually have an entire track to myself on one of Tommy Lee's albums. That's that's voicemails that I left to him that he made a, a track of it. I, I knew you guys are friends. I didn't know you had a. Yeah. 
That's off the chain. It's it's the last track of a last track of an album. Um, and it's pretty funny. I actually got recognized by that from one of our students because one one day I said something, you know, and he heard my accent and he started repeating this voicemail off the album, and it, and I go, "That's me." He goes, "No," and I'm like, "Listen to it. Look at the credits." I'm like, "It's me." I'm like, "It was me." It's awesome. Uh, and it's not edited. It's. <laughs> it's some, of, some, of, some of mine have got to be like, all right. It's uh, it's profane. Uh, so I mean, we can wrap this up. And Maurice is texting me anytime. Anytime. Who's on after us? One sixty-six. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I feel pretty good about that. One hundred sixty-six. Works for me. I, I feel good about it. I think we've done some good things here. Uh, no new questions really coming in. Uh, you know. I don't know. What else is there to say? Goodbyes. Goodbyes. All right, y'all. Thanks for turning in. Travis Moy. And Aaron. And John. And John. <laughs> Johnny Boy. Denver.